In this video we're going to modify the sled board so that we can build our eBay. Now before I started this video I have already sanded the edge to make it a little bit narrower um, and as my check I just want to put it on the bulkhead like this and make sure it's not hanging over the edges uh, otherwise it's not going to slide into the tube properly. So I've already gone ahead and sanded the edge and it sands pretty easy but you want to do it outdoors or because it's going to create a lot of dust and it's fiberglass dust and you don't want to breathe it you want to wear your respirator as well. Um, next I want to cut off one end and I have previously determined um, that I want to cut off about one inch um, yeah I'm going to cut off a whole inch so that's a half inch per side and so I'm going to measure it here and I'm going to mark it I'll do this edge here so here's one inch and then I want to make a nice straight cut again it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly straight but I'm going to use uh, a right angle here and I should actually do it on this side so that you can see it better there's writing on that side okay just like that and I'm going to cut it with the hacksaw um, and I've got a vise here to kind of help me and I'm going to put it in the vise, hang it over the edge and I'm going to try to follow the line as best that I can um, and you can't see it because you're on that side um, so what I'll do is I'll come around here to the front of the table try not to block your view And I do want to wear my respirator because that's important. Okay, you can see that cut pretty easy, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, you can really smell the aroma, it's the aroma of uh, polyester resin. If you've ever done Bondo, um, bought fiberglass and it has that polyester resin, that's what this smells like and you'll smell it most definitely. Um, I'm going to clean up here. Um, I just got some soapy water. I'm just going to spray it because I don't want to get any of these fiberglass particles in the room. Okay, get this out of the way. One more. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Now you can clean up this edge here with some sandpaper. Um, I had some sandpaper. This is the sandpaper I'm going to use for the these little tubes. Um, and this you could just clean it up with sandpaper like that, and it cleans up really fast. Um, now these tubes. You want to take your sandpaper and you want to get some rough grit sandpaper. The rougher the better because we want some deep grooves in here for the for the epoxy to bond to. Just take the sandpaper, wrap it around and scuff it up as much as you can. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back.